My name is Rohan, and I come from a long line of farmers in a small village in India. Our family mango yard, nestled at the outskirts of the village, was renowned for producing the most succulent and flavorful mangoes in the region. However, beneath the lush greenery and abundant harvests, our mango yard held a dark secret, the legend of a malevolent ghost. As a child, I often heard eerie whispers from the elders about the ghost that lurked within the shadows of the mango trees. They said the ghost was once a farmer who had owned the land before my ancestors. In a fit of greed and rage, he was murdered over a disputed mango harvest, cursing the land with his last breath. Despite my initial skepticism, strange occurrences began to unfold. One day, while plucking mangoes, I noticed a chilling breeze amid the scorching heat. It felt as though unseen eyes were watching me. Ignoring my unease, I continued my work. As time passed, the incidents escalated. Tools vanished, mangoes disappeared overnight, and eerie sounds echoed throughout the yard. Even our most loyal farm animals refused to venture near the place. Villagers whispered that the ghost had awakened, seeking revenge for the injustices committed against him. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows upon the yard, I decided to confront the ghost. Fueled by the tales passed down by generations, I was determined to put an end to this haunting once and for all. Armed with a lantern, I ventured into the mango yard. My heart pounded with trepidation, and each rustling leaf sent shivers down my spine. I called out to the spirit, half hoping it would remain silent, but the air seemed to come alive with a chilling response. A spectral figure emerged from behind a gnarled mango tree. Its eyes glowed with a haunting luminescence, and its translucent form seemed to flicker in and out of existence. Fear gripped my heart, but I mustered the courage to speak. What do you seek? I asked, trying to steady my voice. The ghost voice echoed like a distant whisper. I seek justice and peace. This land was stolen from me unjustly and my spirit cannot rest until it is returned. I listened intently to his tale. He was once a farmer named Keshav, who had cultivated the land with love and devotion. However, a neighboring landowner, driven by greed, had claimed the land as his own, leading to a heated confrontation over the harvest. In a fit of rage, the landowner had taken Keshav's life and left him to die beneath the mango trees he had nurtured. As he spoke, I felt a profound sense of sorrow and empathy for the tormented soul. Determined to help him find peace, I promised to right the wrongs committed against him. With the ghost as my guide, we visited the village elders and unearthed ancient documents that proved the rightful ownership of the land belonged to Keshav's family. It took relentless efforts and legal battles, but eventually justice prevailed and the land was returned to its rightful heirs, the descendants of Keshav. As the final legal proceedings concluded, the ghost's ethereal form seemed to glow brighter, and a sense of relief washed over me. In the following days, the paranormal activities subsided and the mango yard regained its former tranquility. The villagers, once fearful of the haunted place, now saw it as a symbol of redemption and justice. They celebrated the bountiful harvests with newfound enthusiasm, believing that Keshav's spirit now blessed the mangoes. Over time, I befriended the ghost of Keshav, and he became a guardian spirit of the mango yard, ensuring its prosperity and safeguarding it from any harm. His story passed into legend, a tale of injustice rectified, and a malevolent spirit transformed into a benevolent one. Today, the mango yard stands as a testament to the enduring power of justice and compassion. As I grow older, I look back on that eerie encounter as a defining moment in my life, a reminder that even in the darkest of places, a flicker of hope can light the way. And so, every year, during the mango season, as the fragrance of ripe mangoes fills the air, I pause to remember the mango yard ghost and the journey that forever changed the destiny of our ancestral land.